Hi, my name's Mark from AnyPom.com, your trusted resource in the UK for ponds and water features. And today, what I want to talk about is moving water. So you could have a pond and um, it, we, we're talking about moving water. So it could be the case of a trickling fountain or a bubbling rock, or it could be um, you've got a cascade that rolls in, or it could be the other extreme of having a torrent waterfall. And, um, and certainly it's a case of, unless you're lucky enough to live um, somewhere where there's uh, natural waterfalls and stuff, you're going to have to have a pump in the pond to recycle the water back in. So you do need a certain amount of equipment, you do need a certain amount of electricity um, to actually start moving the water. The, 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 the cheapest way to move water, believe it or not, is to actually use air. Not a lot of people know that um, pumping air into water is actually cheaper um, so what happens is the bubbles come up through the water column and it makes the water move. So that's actually the cheapest way to, to move water within a body of water itself rather than um, a, a pump pumping water. Because pumping water is a lot more energy than pumping air into a pond. So if you've got a deep pond or a big pond, sometimes aeration is the cheapest form of filtration. Certainly it's a case of in the past, in a fish farming scenario, we've actually used air to filter the water. So it's actually an uplift. So it actually um, pulls water through gravel beds and then the, the water, it's, it's like an under gravel um, filtration system in an aquarium. It's not perfect, but it's cheap and it's very effective. So another, way, another thing to think about with moving water is, is um, it, and in most cases, this is a perfect pond for most people. You might want a lot of fish, and if you want a lot of fish, you need a lot of oxygen because the fish are the first to suffer from oxygen, depletion of oxygen. So you need that surface movement because obviously the bigger the surface area, um, the more oxygen you, you can get into the water itself. If you've got a very clean, crisp, um, uh, surface there's only that certain amount of um, surface area so if you want a lot of fish you need a lot of oxygen so it could be aeration um, big waterfalls and it's basically a case of you need to move that surface water it could be a case of you want um, a, a relaxing moving you don't necessarily want the sound it could be that you have um, moving water that just literally that, that's like a whirlpool it's a very very relaxing but it's still moving water and sometimes that, that can real, it'd be fantastic. So there's a few ideas about and the reasons why you would have moving water in a pond. My name's Mark from AnyPond.com, your trusted resource in the UK for ponds and water features. And I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching.